We're back, ladies and gentlemen, with a quick update on the build here. Uh, got a ton of new parts that we've put on. Um, got the fast fuel system on, got the air dryer on, got some lines ran. The motor's finally almost all put together. The brand new VP44 injection pump is on. The new brand new compressor head is on. The injectors are in. Uh, we, we ended up going with 120 horse injectors, um, new crossover tubes, that stuff's all done. So that stuff's finalized and put in. Um, the new K27 turbo is kind of hiding underneath there. Um, that thing's all on there real nice. Pickup truck manifold worked out well. The uh, fleece turbo drain kit is on. Um, starting to run some wiring and just kind of get an idea of where things are going to go. That's kind of what we're doing now. But we're getting there. And now we're down to the nitty gritty. Obviously the motor's in for the last time. Um, starting to make some headway. Going to get the cab on here pretty soon. I just want to get the exhaust finished up and then the cab can go on. Um, power steering line is made and ran. It's on. Um, so now we're just kind of down to tightening it up some wires and putting some clamps on stuff and making sure everything's 100%. Um, this outlet here goes over to the compressor. I need to do that line there. I need to get that done. I got to run some coolant lines, um, waiting for a new air intake sensor. But other than that, I mean, it's uh, really starting to come together. So pretty soon this cab will get set back on and then uh, we can really just start fine tuning some stuff and getting it getting it fired off and uh, go from there. But we're getting there. That's what she looks like right now. It's been a couple weeks since I've had time to make a video, but uh, I feel like another couple days worth of work here. Um, the cab will be on. The goal is to have the cab on this weekend. Um, the clutch is all adjusted and done. So when I put the cab on, all I gotta do is put this cable up through the grommet, clip it in and it's done. It's all adjusted already. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to run some air lines for the transmission, an air line from the compressor to the tank, tank to the air dryer, get all that done. And then, um, after that, I mean, we're pretty much ready for the cab and we'll, uh, get it fired off. The exhaust is kind of the last hoop I have to jump through here to get it, take my time and cut a bunch of pipes and corners and elbows and get it routed. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it out, snake it back towards the motor down around and it's going to exit straight down there so i got to build me a nice little round pipe that comes in there and three to four inch and get that done so that's going to take me some time i'm going to take weld that all up and make sure it's real nice and wrapped in heat tape and everything um the last package i'm waiting on is my bracketry for the front of the motor for the factory gm ac compressor and all that stuff i've been working uh with auto world conversions they got all that stuff made up for me um I'm going to run the factory GM AC compressor, factory GM alternator, so all my harnesses work. Everything's happy dappy, and uh, you know, the AC works and all that stuff is factory lines. You know, that way, if you break down in the middle of the night, you know, you need an alternator for, you know, the truck that you're driving. It's, you know, it's going to be the factory Kodiak alternator, factory Kodiak AC compressor, factory Kodiak AC condenser, lines, all that stuff. So it'll all be, you know, um, Go, you know, you won't be chasing down parts. Um, I wrote down all the part numbers for stuff for the transmission. I actually got um, a VIN number for a C8500 that had an 8LL Eaton in it. So that's what I bought the clutch cable and all that stuff for. So it was really nice that everything's a factory fit for that cab. There, I didn't have to modify anything. So that was really nice. So. You know you can get parts i did order an extra clutch cable and some clips and stuff that'll just sit in the toolbox in the back of the truck in case i need them but um so we're fuel lines are done the returns are done all that stuff is done there camera doesn't really want to focus today but uh so we're, we're crossing stuff off the list but that's the update for right now guys we'll get back at you